What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Final Fantasy XIV. So I want to start this video off um, with a couple of questions for you guys because I know people watch the video. Some people watch a little bit at the beginning of the video and then whatnot. Not everybody makes it to the end. So I wanted to start this video off by asking a couple of questions. So we have 109 days until Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers releases. I obviously want to be caught up so that I can do that content. I want to start on day one of that content being released and play through it. Issue is, is that 109 days, even if I recorded an hour long episode per day, only brings us to 109 hours of gameplay. Now, obviously it would be 110 because I've released two videos, but it's 110 hours of gameplay. That's not enough to beat the regular story, Heaven Sword, uh, Hev Heaven's Word, and um, um, what you would call it? The the other one. Where's my thing that I can't remember what it's called? The oh my gosh! And Stormblood. Can't re couldn't remember what it was called. Stormblood. It's not enough time to complete all of those together. So I'm asking for opinions on what you guys think I should do. There are a couple of different options. I can do half hour videos as I am, but maybe in between episodes I'll play an hour on my own, or we'll do a couple episodes in a row and then you'll see a skip of four hours in progression forward, or you know, stuff like that. We'll just record half hours as we go and as I can record and I'll continue to progress on my own when I can't necessarily record. Even if I can record, I'll try to progress even because I believe I looked it up. It's like a hundred. It's somewhere between 75 hours. If you rush main story, there's a lot of cutscenes that you can skip. I don't really want to cut, skip the cutscenes. I, I really want to watch them, but there's that option. There's also the option of, um, if you just play the regular story, it's like 120 hours or something like that. 120 hours, obviously that gets us through the main story, but then we still have heaven's word and storm blood. It brings us into this weird area where we're not quite... We're in a weird area where we're kind of stuck. The other option that I have is to continue it like, like this. We get through the main story and then I just skip Heaven's Word and Stormblood. That's also an option. We can just skip those. We can skip Heaven's Sword right now and then we would skip Stormblood later when it becomes available on Mog Station. The other final option is to play through just heaven's word and Stormblood. i think we would have enough time to just play through those i don't quite know how long the expansions are i would have to look into that more i have not looked into those i just looked into the base game length uh, if someone knows let me know how long heaven's heaven's word and Stormblood are from the point of not the side quest just the main story we only got time for the main story be before shadowbringers comes out because we just don't have that much time i have to i'll do the side quest later on once i once once Shadowbringers has been out for a while and we we've moved on then i can do it but for now i wanted to get your guys's opinion on what you guys thought i should do going forward i think i did that in a timely manner quick enough to try to uh, not take up too much of this video the other option um is for me to buy the level 60 pack and skip the regular story pack on mog station and that would just mean we would do heaven's word and shadow bringers obviously it kind of comes down to that let me know what you guys think um i should do i mean there's there's only so many i i just don't think we have enough time before shadow bringers comes out to fully sit here and do a full let's play of this game unless i completely cut black desert to a certain extent I would have to probably cut the Witch playthrough, and we would be uploading two or three videos of this every day, trying to crank that out. And I don't even know if that would be enough. That'd be, if I made one an hour long and then two half hour long videos, that'd be two hours a day or like 40 minutes of video. It'd be about two hours a day, and that would get us about 210 hours of gameplay. I still don't think that would be enough. So yeah, just want to get your guys' opinion. And uh, we can get into actually uh, 
watch this episode because I'll decide. I'll do this episode. I'll see what you guys say. Um, and I might take a day off from uploading this to figure out what, exactly what I want to do. But I'm sure someone has an opinion on this. So just let me know uh, exactly what you guys think. Okay, so we must re rebuild. Mamodi of the Quicksand wants to introduce you to a certain someone at the old dispatch yard. Well, youngin, how are you finding our fine Ulda, then? Uh, got your barons about you yet? If so, mayhap it's time uh, if you venture, times you ventured beyond the city walls. The bustling streets of Ulda are one thing, but the wilds of Thanalan, that's another altogether. I know a bloke you might fancy speaking to, and he you. Name of Papishan. You'll find him over at the Ulda Dispatch Yard. No doubt he'll have some work for you. The dispatch yards are over in central Thanalan. Just head out the door across the hall, and you'll see the gate of Nald staring right back at you. Pass through it, and head east. You'll come upon its four long. There's dangers beyond the wall, though. More than I'd care to count. Nothing too terrible, mind you, but feisty enough to attack if you draw near. Don't say nobody cared enough to warn you. Okay. So, I gotta, gotta remember how to play this. It's quite, I, I really like this. It's just quite the different, um, okay, so we need to go over here. Um, it's just quite the different play. It just plays quite different than Black Desert, which I truly love. And it even, it plays different than Elder Scrolls Online, which I have gotten into a fair amount. Um, I guess there's one more option. Um, I could play this in my free time and then... I could also stream. There would be days where I could probably stream this for like six hours. And then I could just upload the VOD. Obviously, it wouldn't be as much talking from me because there's only so much stuff I can talk about. Even on a stream, there's only so much I could talk about. So, it, it just all depends. Just let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I know most of you guys are here for the Black Desert content, but I know a lot of you have been watching this. I really want to get into this. I really like the concept of this game, so I'm pushing hard uh, to get caught up for Shadowbringers. Um, I also am trying to get caught up in ESO, but that's not a, something I'm going to upload every day. Uh, that's a partially parts of the week. Okay. Uh, Scorpion Crossing. This way couldn't be simpler. Pass through this gate and head west until you come upon it. Deliver a package. Are delivering a package? Are you? In that case, you'll want to speak to Oswell when you arrive. Okay, so we need to speak with Papisan at the old dispatch yard. Is it... I think we yeah we need to go to Central Thanalan. So we need to go up there. Huh. I would think uh, I'm wondering why it doesn't want us to just go out. Huh. That's really weird. I would have thought it would have wanted us to go back to this area, but that's fine. I do like that you can control the map while you're controlling your character. It's a really nice feature in this game because you can look around and you can still walk your character, have your character walking there. All right, to Central Thanalan we go. I'm gonna take a peek at this while we're walking up there. Okay, so there's the optional right next to it. Fantastic Voyage. All right. Let's see, how do I get back to where we gotta go back here? Okay, there we go. And we're actually to where we needed to get to. Actually need to move my camera. I'm, well, the camera's fine there for this episode. It's in my black desert spot. I didn't change my overlay settings, but I mean, you're missing like a little bit of my skill. Actually, you're not even missing it. Yeah, you're not even missing any of my skill tree. That's fine. Usually I have it blocking the chat, but it's okay for it's okay for one episode. Do you run? Oh yeah, you got to do it like this. Um, but yeah, just please tell me what you guys think I should do for this game, because obviously I don't think we have time to do everything the way I would love to do it, unless I skip dialogue. Like, so let's see, I'm messing up where they're back here. Fate system. Let's check this out. Uh, fate is short for full active time event. These public quests occur periodically in real time around er Erosia. 
um, and anyone can participate by simply showing up before one ends. When you sense a fate nearby, a message will appear on your screen and the location will be displayed on your maps. Uh, the type of fate in progress can be identified by its icon on the map. Ma map icon. Mousing over the icon will display the fate title. You will automatically join the fate the moment you cross the event threshold. At uh, this time, the fate title, objectives, and time remaining will appear in your duty list. If you are several levels higher than the recommended level, a level sync button will appear in your duty list. Press the button to automatically lower your level so that you may participate and receive rewards. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to go talk to this dude over here first. All right. Giganasu. Anyone seen Kakenzani since last night? Anyone? Hand that over. Hey, what what are you doing with that timetable? I've been looking all over for it. Got it from Kakenzani, you say? Why, that useless drunk, I'll wager he was out all night again. Chasing after skirts. That's it. The next time he misses his shift, I'm trying I'm tying him to the tracks. Thank you for the experience and the money. Alright, let's do main quest now. But like right here, I could just not read this. I could just talk about my own thing and not read it. But I feel like that's still a really not great idea overall. Well, you certainly look the part of an adventurer, my friend. Might you be the good soul Mamodi advised me to expect? Hmm? I am Papa Shan, the station master of this humble dispatch yard. An empty title, I assure you. I truly am no more than a tired old Lalafell, passing his final years in quite quiet and solitude. Twelve no, there have been plenty of both these last few or these last five years since the calamity struck. The devastation was vast. Yet now true oldens work together, doing all in our power to rebuild what was laid to to ruin. By the sweat of our brows and the love of our home, we have rebuilt Ulda to the grandeur and majesty that you see today. The railways which run through the dispatch yard, too, were born of the noble efforts of a great many souls. But there is still much work to be done. The wounds left by the calamity run deep. Isolated areas beyond our lines of supply remain, and there are places yet wanting for, for relief and restoration. Ulda needs the aid of you and your brother and friend. In fact, never has our need been more dire. Which brings me to the point, I suppose. I do believe I may have some work suited to one of your ability. Okay, so complete that quest. And we'll accept the new quest here. So we leveled up to level 5. Sweet. Um, Station Master Papashan has a simple task for a fledgling adventurer. Since you come all this way, perhaps you can perform an errand for me. It just so happens a number of sentries have been sent to guard the area. A dispatch to the dispatch yard, as it were. They have long been away from the shade and feather beds of the city. The hot days and cold nights can play hells on the mind and body out here. It isn't much, but go and give them these twilight pretzels, would you? I find comfort food always helps when I feel like killing myself. <laughs> okay, so we need to deliver food to the twilight patrols. Looks like they're all pretty close here. Probably would have been smarter to deliver it to the one over to the left, but that's all right. All right. Serious Sultan Sorn. Halt, madam. I'm going to have to ask you to put the pretzel on the ground and place your hands above your head. There's your pretzel, my dude. State your name and business. A twilight pretzel from Papashan? By the by, gods forgive me. You could say this new post has my nerves in a twist. I'm, I'm terribly sorry for that. Ahem, yes. Well, you may rest assured that the dispatch yard is safe so long as I stand watch. Please give Papashan my thanks and tell him that I only wish I could repay the favor. Okay. So we need to do two more of these. The one issue I have with purchasing the level 60 and um, level 60 and the completion of the main story is that I'm not quite sure I am prepared. Now I'm going to start um, getting heavily into watching some videos talking about the basics of this game as well as the more end game stuff in, in Black Desert. but. Um, 
mostly pertaining to this game, I'm going to watch a lot of tutorial videos and stuff like that talking about it, so I can know what the heck I'm doing. 12 save me. Scorching days, freezing nights. This post will be the end of me. Here's a pretzel, buddy. A twilight pretzel. Don't mind if I do. Ah, now that's a refreshing God's damn pretzel. I feel reborn. Okay, one more to give a pretzel to. But I want, I want to try to get deep into these. Um, they're pretty much the only games I'm playing right now. I, I've been playing Halo 5 because my friend's trying to get max rank before um, Halo Infinite comes out, which is a while away, but we've been playing that. And then I play Apex Legends, and then I play the new releases, but other than that, I mean, I'm not, like, deep into, like, Call of Duty anymore or any games like that, so I'm not even that deep into Apex. Like, I kind of wanted to get to level 100 before the season ended, but... Western Front clear, Eastern Front clear. Here's your pretzel, homie. For me, from Papa Sean, a Twilight pretzel, my favorite. How did he know? Can't fight on an empty stomach now, can I? Actually, I can't fight on any stomach. I suppose you could say I have no stomach for fighting. Okay, so we need to go back to Papa Sean. can almost sprint again, but it's not going to matter. Right here. I guess I could do quests. Okay, I guess there is one more option. There is another option. I could do quests. Well, I'll go over it in a second. You've returned, and with a deal fewer pretzels, I see. Tell me, how far, how fair are Sultan Sworn sentries? Did they have anything to report? Anything at all? What? Nothing. Are you sure? I... Oh, oh dear. Take this for your troubles, then, and stay a moment. There is more I would ask of you. Thank you. Quest complete. Next quest. Here we go. Fregaza, I have just this moment. No, no, the time for concealment is past. The truth is, even before I had to let you deliver those pretzels, I was privy to some most unsettling news, which is the real reason I sent you to meet those swords, Sultan Soren. Okay, Papa Sean is in dire need of your assistance. I can oblige. A young nobleswoman from a very, very prestigious family has run away from home, and I have been ordered to see to her safe return. The Sultan Sorn you met earlier are assisting with the search. Alas, it seems they have they have found no trace of her. I apologize for not being frank with you from the start, but we must proceed with caution. Should word of her disappearance spread, I fear others with less honorable motives may join the hunt. And should we allow her to come to any harm, not even a hundred beheadings would be punishment enough. That cannot happen, Ragaza. It must not. I need you to help me find her. Praise the Twelve. I knew I could count on you. I've instructed the others to expand the search, but Thanalan is vast and there are only so many of us. The young noblewoman's name is Lady Lalyra. I want you to go south and look for her in the vicinity of the Sultan Tree. Good luck. Alright. I should be able to handle this. Okay, gotta be able to move the map around. Where is she? Hold on, where? Um, oh, she's south, so she's this way. Okay. I'm gonna pop this off for now. I know pretty much she's down this way. I'll pull it up. It's nice and easy to pull up. That's what I love, so you can I can take it off the screen from, from time to time. Also wanted to apologize. I called the character Dark Mage, not Black Mage. My bad. My bad. My bad, but I, I got that all fixed, and it worked. We are good to go. But the story looks really appealing. That's why I don't want to skip it. I want to, I want to go through it. But then it also means that you guys don't get to see it all, unless I like, I, I don't know. I don't really. I wish there was a like a quest list I could look at, and then I could see how I'm doing in certain videos and stuff. Hello. Oh, he's got a mount. I was like, hello? What kind of enemy is there? What kind of playable character is that? Hooded Lala Fell. Oh, Sultan Tree. You are about to enter an instant battle. Instant battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Take a moment to read the information displayed in the active help window before answering the call of duty. Okay, special instances. Uh... You are about to enter a special instance. These areas are reserved for important battles which feature unique environmental conditions or powerful boss enemies. 
instance uh, objectives can be confirmed in the duty list. For the duration of the battle, you will be unable to pass beyond the red line displayed on the field. You will automatically leave the instance once all quest objectives have been met. Easy enough. If your level is eight, above 8, it will be synced. Okay, I'm not above level 8. Alright, here we go. Is this our first boss fight already? Oh, Sultan Tree, hallowed spirit of my line, forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. That's angry, because I was getting ready to talk, to read. But hey, look, we have some uh, dialogued cutscenes. We have some voice acting. Show yourself! <sighs> As you command, O oh Lilira. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's as though the dead are watching I us. I apologize if this dialogue is too quiet. It was kind of hard to get it lined up because there wasn't a whole lot of dialogue. So I will go back as soon as I finish this video and listen to the dialogue and make sure if I need to turn it up, I will. And I prefer not to join them. If it's all the same to you. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. What she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. You should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. Oh, here we go. First boss fight. Let's let's get it. Alas, the station master will have to wait. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. As for you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way. All right, here we go. How do I lock? There we go. Why did it get interrupted? Our damage is just so bad. So much. Our MP is restoring really quick. The audio, the auto attack never seems to work for me because it's not auto attacking right now, so I don't really know. It confuses me a lot because it's not auto attacking. Oh, hell, freaking low, dude. Come on, let me. I'll, I'll take care of these guys if I can figure out how to lock on. It's. How do you, there we go. What is happening? Hello? That was really weird. It like didn't want me to... I don't know, that was just really weird. It like didn't... It wasn't letting me target and then attack. It's like untargeting when I went to attack. Oh, there's more. Come and get it. I'm gonna switch back to fire. Okay, there 
hitting me hard. I don't know if I was supposed to help, like, by killing the side enemies, or if I was supposed to, you know, fight the big one and just ignore the little one, but... Alright! Mission complete! Good job, handsome stranger! You literally did all of that, I just killed the side idiots. A special item, I see. Crystal Bearer. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth, and lay claim to them. Okay, so, get some main story plot here. So now our main story goal is to collect all the crystals of life. Which is nice to know. By thy deeds shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. These are some good cutscenes. These are like cutscenes... I don't know, in the other two MMORPGs on console that I've been playing recently, they did not have cutscenes anywhere near to this in, like, any century. Like, this is crazy good. Go now, my child, and shine thy light on all creation. Ah, 
coming around now. Would you mind telling me what that was? Hmm. If I only knew. A denizen of the Void, at any rate. The Void sent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream? Well, kind of. No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. But of course, this changes everything. Hmm? Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. How dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? I shall return and tell them myself. Better get going, man. As you wish, your impetuousness. I suspect we shall meet again before long. I expect so too. Until then, do try and stay awake. Hey man, sleep is sleep is highly, highly underrated. Even by people who love sleep, it's still underrated. I wish it didn't like waste half my day if I wanted to sleep till the wee hours of the more or the wee hours of the afternoon, but you know, that wastes my day, so what is happening? Can I please pull up my map? There we go. Alright, we need to head this way. I still want to fight one of these giant tortoises, but we're just not going to do it just yet. We'll get it one of these days, but I, I do want to fight one of them. Maybe if I... I guess I could farm to level 6 or whatnot, but... We're going to get to level 6 by turning this quest in, is my guess, anyway. What I... Did I... Do I have an item that's giving me the plus 50% experience? I think so, but I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. Not sure how I'm getting that plus 50% experience, but I'll take it. I forget what, what I did to get that. Thank the gods you've returned. You had us all so worried. You do realize what would happen if a person of your noble stature were to be injured or worse? Why, her grace, the sultana, would be beside herself with grief, and so would her subject. I dare say they'd be weeping in the streets. But I have already given you cause to weep, Papa Shan, you and the people of Ulda. Please, your, your, why'd they do the two different yours? Your, your, not to say such things. We will find it. I swear to you. I think they're trying to say, like, he was like, your, and then he stuttered, and then he said your again, and he just didn't say the E, but it looks weird. It is not my place to make demands, my, my lady, but I beg you, please stay out of harm's way. I apologize for causing you own do worry, Papa Sean. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in future. Just a head shake and a curtsy, and we're off. Oh, are we all going to curtsy? You're going to curtsy? Are you going to bow? Oh, look, they bowed. All right. Get out of here. I cannot thank you enough, Ragaza. I understand you fought bravely to protect Lady Lilira or Lilira from a void scent fiends they said it like five five minutes ago and i can't remember how they pronounced it for your gallant service you deserve all the riches in the royal vaults alas a small token of my gratitude is the best i can offer hey i'll take it the experience is more important than the money you can give me hmm a sarcastic man with a strange contraption strapped to his shoulder i see you met Thancred. he's a scholar who spends his day investigating oddities in the aether 
rather too fond of the sound of his own voice for my liking, but I per but perfectly harmless. As for you, Ragaza, you're just the sort of adventurer we need around here. I pray you show the same kindness to the people of Thanaland as you did to us today. Thank you. That's 1,100 experience points. Perfect. That's level 6. So now... Ooh, I learned Thunder. Nice. Now... Oh, here we go. Sidadoa? Sisadoa? I think Sisadoa sounds about right. Sisadoa needs a reliable adventure to deliver a gift to the coffer and coffin. You're an adventurer, yes? If you're not otherwise occupied, I've got a favor to ask. I've resolved to repay uh, a debt of gratitude, which I owe to the owner of the coffer and coffin. For this purpose, I purchased from the royal plantations a prodigiously plump pumpkin, a particularly popular piece of produce. Alas, I cannot depart this place to, pro to procure and pro and proffer the pumpkin. You see, the scheduled shipment from the Nanoa mines for which I wait is late. I would prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead and see it safely to the coffer and coffin. Present this receipt of purchase to Gagari at the Royal Plantations, and she will yield it to you. I apologize for asking you to attend to this time-consuming task, but I truly appreciate your assistance. Okay. So, actually... This is really close. I'm just going to go over here to Gagari, and then we will call it an episode. I think that's a good place to call it an episode. If you watch to here, remember, let me know what you guys think of the other ideas that I uh, had. If you have an opinion one way or the other, let me know. If not, still, give me a little bit of an idea of what you think, and we will. We can go from there. I want to... Oh, there we go. Wait. It won't let me edit these? Huh, interesting. Okay, well, I'll work on that later. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.